In this video, I'm going to compare grouping with Python to grouping with pivot tables. Here I have a large set of data, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to group with Python. So to get Python working, what I need to do is I need to press type equals P Y and then press tab. And now you've got a Python working now. So what I need to do is select my data table. So I'm going to go from A1 to J, and I'm going to go Control, Shift, Down Arrow to get the entire data table. And so I'm going to go Control, Enter. And so now when I go back up to the top there, we have the data frame. Now what I'm going to use that is my reference for my using my other formulas. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to total, total the sales for each of the individual salespeople in here. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go uh, equals PY and press tab. And now I'm in my Python. And so now I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to select my data table and then I'm going to go dot group by and then I'm going to select the field sales person and now um, Python is extremely uh, case sensitive so you have to make sure that you're getting all the capitals and not capitals and we need to put quotation marks around it And then we close the, the parenthesis and then we go amount because that's how much I, I want to total the field amount in there. And, and then I'm going to go sum, opening bracket, closing bracket. Okay, and then we're going to press control enter and it's busy. Okay, so now you've got something here. So what you're going to do is you're going to display these values in Excel values. And there you have all of your different totals done for each of the individual salespeople. Now, let's do it all in a pivot table. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select inside of my data and I'm going to go insert and I'm going to insert a table. And that includes headers and say, okay. And then I'm going to insert a pivot table and I'm going to insert it on another sheet. Okay. So now I'm on my new sheet here. And so what I need to do is I need to put my salespeople in rows. And I need to put my amount in the sum values. So there you go. Now you get the same values as you got on the first sheet. So these are the same. So let's just try something for demonstration. Um, let's put um, next to um, Jan, let's put the total that she has and let's put it so that we can see what it's changed to. So I'm putting 204945.9. So that's the value it is. So let's go down to Jan. And let's say that uh, her first sale was, um, let's say it's $10,000 so that we'll have a dramatic difference in her values. And we're going to press enter. And now let's go up to, um, to the, the Python and you see that it has changed here, but on the, uh, on the pivot table, it's still, it's still the same as it was originally. So they're both about equal amount of time to do it. But the one thing that the Python is, is it, uh, it, is dynamic, it reflects the changes that you've made in your data. 
Please subscribe.